Hi, welcome to Kindred Spirit Readings. Let's begin Scorpio. You might take some time out to rethink things. There's a lot on your plate as it is. And I feel that no matter what you do, uh, it, it feels as though it is never ending. I feel that there is going to be involvement with another person. I'm seeing males specifically. I feel that this person has something to do with your finances. You've been talking about this. It, it's long-term planning. Something just doesn't add up. This is, this could be a broker who is handling your finances. I'm not liking what I'm seeing simply because something just doesn't add up. Um, I'm seeing that they could be charging way too much for their time. I want to say their effort, but there really isn't or hasn't been enough set in stone for you to be able to jump for joy if this person isn't really presenting enough to you for you to jump for joy in the first place. Not at this stage anyway, not as yet. I'm not seeing that there's any progress I'm saying that somebody, this is somebody who is willing to take your money and, and where is the progress? Where is the hard work? Where is the effort and all of that? It really confuses me um, to see this happening to you. And I, I feel that this is where I'm seeing some sort of pressure. You're feeling some sort of pressure. It's, it's uneasy. There's uncertainty trying to wrap your mind around this. This is really mind boggling to say the least. So, you know, this might be something that you want to address whether or not this is the right person for you. I don't feel they're doing enough. I'm not seeing anything working out for you. And this is only what I'm seeing for the week. So whether or not it's something, as I said, that you want to look into, that you want to investigate further, that you would maybe need to question Maybe sit down and discuss these things. It's entirely up to you how you choose to go about this. I do want to jump over to romance because this could, in fact, be one of those really interesting but good interesting uh, weeks for you where a couple of things are happening here. I do feel that there is a little pressure behind a relationship, a particular one. I do feel that there is a person who is holding back on expressing their feelings towards you. I do feel, and I'm going to be very blunt here, I do feel that you could be doing the same. Okay, whether or not you are aware of this, um, that this is the case where you both feel a little uncomfortable or shy, maybe you're both thinking it, but nobody seems to be stepping out of their comfort zone, which is fine. Speaking of relationships, I do pick up on betrayal. There is something about, there's something here that is rather annoying. Um, interesting, it's kind of, it all depends on what you're choosing to do with this energy. This is somebody that comes in from the past and, you know, hasn't really chosen to put something to bed. Now, it's somebody that you haven't really had much to do with. Although this person keeps showing up, somehow showing up, I, I believe you were done with this person some time ago. Now, all of a sudden, they've reappeared. And question is why I think to some degree you sort of, you sort of know what's best in order to move forward here. Why haven't you? I believe that this is somebody that I do feel there is betrayal. Definitely what I'm seeing here is that this person could have, in fact, done something that was a little a little out of character and maybe it left you, uh, m maybe it left you out in the cold. Uh, you know, may, maybe this made, it, uh, made things a lot easier for you in terms of making a decision as well, a final decision at that. You know, there is a little bit of history here. What once was can now be put to bed. I really don't feel this is something you would that would have been healthy for you anyway. Your life is, as I always say, it's your choice. There's no stability when it comes to this person, but they keep showing up and, and they're persistent, you know, and if you're sort of battling with your own emotions, you've got, as I said, you've got your plate full and you're sort of still trying to figure a lot out in terms of what to do next. And you've got other people that want to spend time with you. You've got genuine people that are presenting genuine feelings to you. And then you've got this other person coming in and disturbing the peace, if you will. I do want to say Pisces energy, but it really just, um, this is just somebody who is uh, messed up to no end. Thank you, Scorpio.